We are the Robbins family, and this is our epic voyage on restoring a World War II ship. We hope you'll follow us along on our journey. She runs! She runs, Mills! Where are we going? <laughs> I was about to start the first time. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Hello, we're like digging holes for anchors. We have this. No idea what it is. You found treasure on a pirate ship. <gasps> So we've just arrived at the boat. Today we are trying to clear up as much rubbish as we can again. We've got the tide, so while me and Simon are working, getting all the rubbish out, the kids are chilling. And we've got a boy one today. Hello. <laughs> Yay, comfy? Yeah. You will be in a bit when we cut your mattresses up yeah. to get on. But for now, that'll do, won't it? Yeah. Yeah. And then we've got a girl one. Hi. Hi. You're comfy there, aren't you? Yeah. There you go. Here's your hoodie. Thank you. Cool. Right then, we're going to go and clear some rubbish. We need to clear all of this. There's still rubbish everywhere. So that is our aim this morning. So we're just waiting for... Look, you can see some floor. <laughs> Simon's just gone over to go and get the little tender. The tide's coming in. And it's a beautiful sunny day. If you see what we can see then adventure it's for all of us There's a place that we should be Come along, come along Cause it's high tide and we can't lose Come and drift away with us So now the chore on board I'll let the love we share take hold of you as we move a little more Come along, come along Cause it's high tide and we can't lose Come and drift away So, considering it's so nice, don't know where all this water's coming from, but it was coming straight onto the floor. So literally, until Simon gets back and it stops and we can do something with it, I've just put a piece of damp proof course just to divert some water away from the boat. So the tide's going out, so this is going to be our last trip. Um, I'm going to try and come back on the little rubber dinghy and then I'm going to pull it up on the crane. What do you reckon? I'll try. I'll try.
after emptying all the boats of rubbish. Just find some more everywhere. <laughs> Making more mess. Right, tidy enough. So I think what we're going to do is give this a clean off with salt water because the mud, I'm slipping, I was slipping everywhere before when we come up with the kids. So clean it up with salt water while we've got a bit of high tide left. And then hopefully, because it's really nice today, it'll dry by the time we come to sheet it back over. And I think when I come to sheet it back over, I'm going to put something the higher in the middle so it, it makes a tent, a little, little tiny tent basically. See how we go. So I want to get this done, I want to get the poop deck <laughs> cleared because I'm sick of, that's where we load and unload all the stuff and I'm just tripping over ropes and bits of wood and everything all the time. So I really want to get that cleared and because it is, we've not really seen under there but I know it's dodgy and there's boards missing, I want to sheet down properly as well because I just want to get, I know the weather's great today but it's still February. Um, so I want, to, I want to try and get the boat as dry as we can. You can't fix a boat as soon as you buy it. You've actually got to clean up and you've got to even think, you've got to think about making it watertight. People are like, oh, just get the decks replaced. We're not ready for that yet. We can't just come in and start ripping up decks we work on it, we're working full time, me and Simon. Obviously we've got kids off school as well. We've got, a, we have a weekend to come to the boat and everyone's like, oh, you need, you need to move it to a dry dock. We've gone over it so many times. So I'm gonna say it one last time for everyone who comments religiously. We, I am not paying 250 pounds a week to have it on the hard when we're only working two days a week. We ha we, we're we not rich enough to quit work and go and fix our boat all day long. I, I, I really wish we could, we can't. So we're working full time, so why would we put ourselves in the position where we're paying £250 a week? And plus she's a wooden boat, you don't want her on the hard for that long. So we're not going to get everything fixed in the next month. So why would we get it onto the hard to not be able to do much because we're working and then have to put it back straight back in so you're paying two grand to get it lifted in and lifted out and then you're paying 250 pounds a week when we can only work on a one day a week so i hope that sort of you can understand that a bit better now our position when we got this boat it was it we knew it was going to be long term and we know she needs to come out for to get the whole checks and stuff and that will happen but everything can't happen straight away. So think of it, if it was you, would you pay 250 quid a week to go and work on your boat one day a week? You wouldn't, would you? It, it's not logical. So just use some common sense and understand where we're coming from when we say we're not moving here. She's not, she's not costing us anything where she is here. So. It's a pain in the butt with the mud, but it's free. Every every penny we make now can go directly into the boat and not into yard fees. So the boat looks going to get fixed quicker, even though that we're in the mud, because more money's going into it. So that's that's our logic. <laughs> yeah, it's funny stuff. Oh, look how gorgeous it is. Yeah. Boating tips by Simon and Gemma. So, what's the technique, Gem? <laughs> Come on, speak, woman. <laughs> so, you're going to start by pulling the mud off the mud off the rug. Is it a rug? Come on, clean as you saw, man. Yeah. 
So at the moment we've got one of these like, yeah, bear in mind this will be slippy, you know. Uh, we've got like a pond pump thing in the bob. Can't really see it, but she's down there in the water. We decided to go out, and we decided to wash our boat. So, while Gemma's doing that, I'm going to give it a scrub of the brush. Hey you! <laughs> Stop it! Come on, you shot. Get it away! Ah! Well, so, yeah, let it dry out now. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the tide's going. <laughs> Last time we went round there was a dinghy still there. Um, <laughs> do we still have a dinghy? Yeah. Still there. Clean deck. Yay! Clean decks! Well, it's actually... This isn't good in there, but... It's just less slippy. Yeah. I was thought the speaker was dead slippy, but... Only that. I'm kind of like doing this one, eh? Unless they cocked it up there, and then they had to put a piece in it. Yeah, they put a piece in it. I don't know. This, the actual teak is in really good neck, so... I think our plan is to make the aft end on the poop deck beautiful, isn't it? Yeah. So we're gonna use all this teak, we're gonna take it back to the workshop, we're gonna plane it up, mint it up, refit this on the on the teak deck, I was gonna call teak it. Deck. On the poop deck. <laughs> yeah, we'll start calling it the teak deck. I don't think we've been to the poop deck yet. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and then we're still undecided what we're doing here, but it's gonna be practical, isn't it? It's gonna be watertight and practical. Yeah. So, don't think we're going to put these bulwarks back on, are we? No. Even though I like the look of it, I don't know, it makes it makes it better. But we might keep because because this is the original height of the the boat, isn't it? So we might keep it original-ish at the front because they had like a bit of a crane on the front and on the bow, sorry, bow, not the, definitely not the front. <laughs> so yeah, I'll, I'll, this is like the working end, so we can like lift stuff up or. I don't know. So, so we're gonna go for like steel railings or something. Yes, probably stainless, but. Oh, Gemma might get a welder out. <laughs> no, you're welding stainless. I was actually qualified to weld stainless with a TIG. Yeah. So, and I'm thinking about sort of building up the. Yeah, I can't really. I was thinking of just steel and painting it. <laughs> so I'm thinking about building these up slightly here, because it'll give longitudinal strength right down the boat. Because I'm going to have to do quite a bit, a few repairs to the beam, beam shelf. shelf. Well done, Gemma. But that'll also double up as part of the strength. And then it'll hopefully keep it watertight. Because you, you'll never keep this watertight. No. Look, you can see, see, see the flex. So, do you know what I noticed? Um. On the back one, on the front ones here. Okay. These have all got. Yeah, they've been. They've been metal up, brackets, yeah. right? That's not original. Which, it's not original, but it's. Giving it a bit more structure, yeah. so, so, so support. Them where it hasn't got them. Yeah, that's where just, they're like it's I leaning think over. These ones failed a lot longer before them ones. Yeah. So. But maybe if the old would have had that on. Yeah, potentially. They would have yeah. been a bit stronger. Yeah, you're right. They are actually quite strong. Yeah, they are. Um, Look at so the yeah. Tech. Obviously, obviously, all this is coming up. It's all being new. It's all being extremely expensive. Good ply because we want it to be strong. Everything we, we do to the boat, we want it to be right. Um, but yeah, obviously the teak, the teak is well worth keeping. Don't, don't, don't stamp too hard, you know, because... There's a plywood underneath the teak. I can that, see it. It's a half inch teak, so it's, that's all that's holding it up at the moment. But the plywood's like a bit of a, 
bit of a sponge. Yeah. Right, let's leave this to dry and let's go and work on the poop deck. Oh, more work. More work. It's not roast, is it? Threw it there and it's still not cleaned up. <laughs> <laughs> you keep missing the bag. The I think it all looks the same. <laughs> so that's it. All the little bits can all go. Sorry, Benson. Can all go in the bag. So hard. I'm not so tired. Go on then. You go to the toilet. So I know it's a gorgeous hot day today, isn't it? Want to use the brush and the shovel? Yes. There you go. What I find the easiest thing to do is because we have got a bit of a channel, miss. Look, you push it all into the channel. And then you can do it like that with your hands. Okay. Because you can't, you can use the shovel on the flat bits, but you're not going to get it into here. And we're just we're trying to get as much off because we're gonna get we're gonna take this blue sheet off. So we just wanna get as much of the dirt off as we can so it doesn't go everywhere. Mm. We'll stay tidy, haven't we? And slide all the way. Do you wanna slide? Because you have a like a slide from the top yeah. that goes like straight down, like a big slide like that. Yeah. Wow. You need to make this longer. Make it longer? So um we can have the ropes. A rope swing. We're not going to have a rope swing. Maybe I want a, oh, a hammock. <gasps> yeah. yeah. Cool. Well done, and then there's one at the other end. Yeah. That one. And there it is. Well done. Twist. So should we about screws? That's big. Yeah? So you have a a crosshead, a Phillips head, a PH1, P, PZ1, PZ2 or whatever. So we've got that's helical, isn't it? Okay? Mm -hmm. So as it goes down, yeah? Can you see it's, it's pulling pulling through my finger there? Yeah? So it pulls it down, doesn't it? But then when it goes through the things you think you're fixing, so then it doesn't pull that anymore, then it pulls that down tight to, to the board, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. So which way do you turn the screw to tighten it up? Oh, go down. So which, which way? So we go that way, so we turn it clockwise, yeah? Oh. Um, there's there's another, another way where I used to teach people is righty tighty, yeah? Lefty Lucy. Do you remember that now? Uh, no. Wh which way do you go to tighten it? Righty tighty. Righty tighty. Righty tighty. Lefty. Lefty Lou. Lefty Lucy. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Craziness. Can you take this balls off for us? So, um, so. There you go. So when you're doing the screws. If it's if you still you need to get weight on the screw, I say go on. All right then. So we're gonna get this sheet off the fore deck. No we're not. 
No, we're not. <laughs> we're gonna get this sheet off the rear deck. Rear deck? Poop deck. Poop deck. We have a poop. So obviously, when we was in the aft cabin yesterday, uh, last week, remember there was a little gap. So there's there's our Hoover still there. It's all just gone left, isn't it? Oh, there's a bag of rubbish there, Gemma. Oh, no, that's a bin. That stuff's oh. a bin. I did Ooh. take the rubbish out. Okay, well, so well, that's well. down there. So. Yeah. Strategy wise, we've actually got potentially a lot of weight, a lot of weight on them. Yeah, but look the. Do we do we cut the sheet around them? Yeah, oh, 100%. <laughs> but then what about when we put the new sheet on? At the moment, before we take them out, I'd like to get all this off so I can see structurally what's happening under there. You're not ripping the... Not now, not now. No. But I'm just saying before we do that. So yeah, I want to cut the sheet. So there we go. There is... the first time we've actually seen the poop deck. <laughs> and... it all needs replacing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, trade you in. Off fire, mate. Off fire. God, there's got loads of dangerous on that one. Oh, yeah, mummy's some dangerous. Oh, dangerous. Dangerous! Oh. Yeah, heavy. <laughs> another dangerous. Hang on, I've got another dangerous there, mummy. I'm treating it very um, longer. Longer dangerous. People, mummy. Yeah, look at this teamwork, eh? We can make a lot of swords out of these. We can make yeah. lots of swords out of these, apparently, Mum. Cool. Yes. Yeah. Then we will be like pirates. <gasps> wow, yes, we did cannons, don't we? A pirate hat. A pirate hat oh, and a cannon. When you get that. And I've got a that. captain's hat, yeah. I should have worn it today, but I was grumpy before, oh, so. <laughs> grumpy bum. <laughs> oh, hang on. Yeah, but you're in charge. You can see that it is dangerous, can't you? Mm -hmm. So we're gonna pull the. You probably saw the. So May us keep your eyes on on the um, watch Mason. Look. Yeah, I watched him. Right, no. give Mason a haircut with that. <laughs> no, you shall not cut my hair. Accidentally cut your hair oh, with. Look um... at his hair. Oh, it's a good, it's a good time to get all this wood inside while it's driest. Yes, and see. Oh. oh, we didn't tell Mummy it was dangerous. Come on then. Thank you. <laughs> she was polite then. Oh, and these are getting a bit long, so the super long ones, we'll, we'll, we'll leave the super long ones because um, they're not dry stores. Essentially, um, so, I mean, we're just getting the shorter ones because we'll fill up our wood so otherwise. Yeah, them ones that are fine, I think. So, having two kids, they rely heavily on... Wi-Fi. 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 So, this week, I've sorted out the Wi-Fi. Yeah. So, we have a booster aerial that we're going to stick up on the roof when we get a mini. So, we're going to see if it'll work without this, which when we tested it at home, it did. So, we kindly got donated a router, a 4G router, didn't we? Yes. By Uncle James and Auntie Kirsten. Yes. So, I think it should be as easy as plugging it in and, and putting the passwords in your phone. Into a so, who wants to plug it in? Me. So there's the plug. I grabbed it. Oh, first. Mason's got it. Fair. Hold on a minute. Let me... Alright, go on, Mace. Plug it in. So the signal will be even better on the Wi-Fi once we get the aerial up on the roof. So it's not the greatest speeds. We've got... Download speed 7.6. No. And upload speed 4.3. So obviously, 
Yeah. Once we've got the area up. What? Have we got Wi-Fi? It's a bonus. Right, so what I've just... I've had, just had a valuable, valuable lesson. Right. Uh, Booze a level. <laughs> <laughs> On a boat that goes like that. Don't like, measure off the floor. Don't measure <laughs> off the floor. I'm looking going, why is it like that? <laughs> so... Because we're used to vans which have... That's the only... We always level, we always measure up from the floor up, don't we? So, we need to redo this, so this side needs dropping. Have you got a square? Uh, no, but I think these original ones will be. Just so, pop. for now, what I'm going to do is going to down measure from them yeah. ones. Just put one in there, all that square, just all that there, so I can film you, um, the quality bit of, um, <laughs> it's not too bad. <laughs> it's the way the floor goes oh up. But yeah. So I put some shelves in this cupboard because I'm sick of not being able to find anything and everything not having a home. So I think I'm going to organise the screws. Never find a screw. So we've got boxes about everywhere. So I'm going to try and have a little organised, little tidy because we spend most of the day walking around going where's this where's that where's that i can't find this so i'm trying to get organized just to take that stress out of it so yeah the test for the crane we um we priced up some custom size mattresses didn't we yeah so for each child's bed they wanted three hundred pounds each. No, no, no! We're not doing that. So I just, I just bang my head again. On again. That's <laughs> sharp. <laughs> Someone well, buys well, having a hard hat. No, don't. Never no buy it. There's a beanie down there. Get a beanie on. So um. So what we decided to do, which it was meant to be a last weekend, as you know, Amazon. Great. So we bought a king size foam mattress. So what we're going to do now is we're going to cut it out the wrapper and then we're going to leave it for an hour or I two. Let this expand for a bit and then we're going to get our knife and we're going to cut it down so Mason and Amelia will both have mattresses. That's it. This can't be a queen size mattress in here. King size apparently. Is that bigger? The king's bigger than queen? No, queens are better aren't they? Better! Hi <laughs> <laughs> hey, Mace. Did I ask for that? <laughs> The mattress! Oh, I just found one of them. Found one of them. Cutting your mattress out. Yeah. So, you'll have a comfy bed you soon. You've got to start cutting that one, else. Oh, God. The same will tell brilliant. Yeah, yeah definitely. <laughs> right, well, that's just the first wrapper in here. Oh, oh hang on. Mm -hmm. Might lie down. But yeah, that's not What's this? No, because it was upside down when you went on. <gasps> Magic! Oh, yeah. Yeah. So instead of like £300, mm -hmm. that works out to £50. Are you happy? Yeah. Is it comfy? Yeah. Can I come and have a sleep? No. It's mine. <laughs> oh. Do you like your bed? Yes. How come you're the person who comes to the ship the least? 
And you're the first one with a bed. Is I'm the favourite child. <gasps> Never. I don't have favourites. I hate you both equally. So why did I get the bed first? Because <laughs> you're the closest room. Cool. Come for that. So we need to follow the line. Brilliant. Can you reach that side or do you want me to do it? Uh, I'll do it. Go on then. Stay on the line. Oh no. You're making your bed too skinny. <laughs> right, I'll do the next bit. I'll go getting through to the bigger thickness. Yeah. Come down to the end then. I'll do this middle bit. Okay. Do so like the first pass, try and do it halfway. So go in, start here and pull backwards, but not too slow down when you get to the end. You don't want to cut your body off. I know. Right, so you need to hold the knife straight. That's it. Go on. Doing it, well done. Hold it nice straight because you're going like that, and it'll be wonky, won't it? Mm -hmm. Right, so be careful at the edge now, don't we? Can I do it? Yeah. You don't want you pulling back and getting your body, do we? Mm -hmm. Right then, we're going to see if it fits. Yeah. Comfy? Yes. Is anything else you need for your bedroom now? Maybe a smart TV. A smart TV? Yeah, that, that would be good, wouldn't it? Now we've got Wi-Fi. What, Princess? I want a smart TV. You want a smart TV? Yeah. One goes on that wall. On the wall? Yeah. Better start saving your pennies then. <laughs> or working even harder to earn some pennies. Yeah, oh, look at the Wi-Fi bars. Wi-Fi bars, got off. Cool, full signal? Yes. Yeah, someone's happy. <laughs> Bye. So there's our poop deck. Is the more rubbish we've created today and all the space we've emptied. We have a clean table. It's a job I achieved today, I'm so impressed. So we've had quite a successful day, haven't we? Yeah. But Mason actually ate all of the um, flying saucers. Yeah, Mason did. ate all the flying saucers, so they went down all really gone. well. Yeah, all gone. Big bag! Gone. So thank you for that trip. Right, so today we have got a trailer full of rubbish yep. that we took off the boat so we're going to take that back to work and, and dispose off. We had a look at our poop deck didn't we? Yeah. So, what was it called the poop deck most? You know? um, no, I don't know. Because on the old ships you used to actually do a poop off the back because obviously <laughs> oh, then you don't, you don't run into your own poop. <laughs> that's why, that's why it's, well okay, some woman on the internet that's what she's doing. <laughs> okay, so we cleaned the poop deck off and we've sheeted it so it's now watertight, which is good because it had big holes in and a rubbish yeah. sheet, didn't yeah, we? Yeah. We also, at the bow, lifted the sheet back that we put on in the bad weather a couple of weeks ago, didn't yeah. we? it was all muddy underneath, wasn't it? It was all muddy. So we actually hosed it all off, cleaned it. Yeah, let it dry. Let it dry and then we sheeted it back up. Mm -hmm. We fixed some sheets up on the fly bridge, didn't we? We fixed our fix, didn't we? And we also moved loads of Loads of wood down, Loads of wood down. Yeah. Oh, and we did the bedding. Did the like bedding. Soft. The kids have now got nice comfy beds. Yeah. So did when the mattresses, yeah. When they fancy a rest, they've got a nice bed. You just want telly's next, don't you? Yes. If you're good. Santa might bring you on. <laughs> <laughs> I thought the Easter Bunny was coming. The Easter Bunny doesn't bring smart TVs. Cream eggs. 
So we'll have, we'll have to see what we can do on that one. Wait, when is Easter? It's like nothing. It's the last week, wasn't it? No one on YouTube yeah. wants to hear your ramblings about Easter. <laughs> 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 it's all to get the chat. So what else did we do? Can't remember. I've... Oh, hoovered up. We've hoovered up, we've cleaned, <laughs> we've... Um, I put some shelves up and I've organised. We're beginning to organise, aren't we? Yeah. I, I like... We had boxes everywhere of, of like our no, stuff and like, just random know. things like tape and cable ties and just boxes of, of stuff. So I've put them all on the shelves and I've told Daddy if he takes something off and uses it, he has to put it back. Because yeah. we spend both ways out there, don't it? Yeah. yeah. We spend half our time going, where's this, where's that, and trying to find it. So also the rubbish removal was a massive success because yeah. I think because of the outboard. Yeah. Was it Mark? No. Yeah. I'm sure we did something else today, but did I can't. Did you do something else? Um, oh, I know what Daddy did. Wi-Fi! We fitted Wi-Fi! Yeah! <laughs> did we, Mace? Yeah. But well, what else did Daddy do? Daddy climbed on the big nah. thing. I didn't see a good view. The test. <laughs> I was in a weight test, wasn't I? I wasn't there, otherwise I wouldn't have allowed it. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, we cleaned out the galley. Yeah. So we have... We have done, and I, I just feel so much better now that we're organised. Yeah. So I know people are like, well, you're not doing anything. Do work, do work, do work. You know, we um, financially, we can't just do everything at once. Time won't allow us to do everything at once. Yeah. Um, we're doing, we need to get organised before we can do any more work, which, which we sort of said last week, but long-term plans, you know, we want to make it, Safe. We, we, yeah. all, all the decks need doing now. Well, they are like a top priority, mm. but not in February, because once we start ripping up decks, we're exposing the hell boat. So we need the weather. So well, and we also need to like sort of take like a week off work, don't we? Yeah. So, so then, then we'll do we'll do the bow in a week. Yeah. Hope, I don't know whether it'll take a week, but we'll close she's she's it back up. But yeah. So we'd love to be able to get stuck in on this boat and work full time on it but we can't because we're not rich we have to unfortunately, work unfortunately we've got a job we've got <laughs> jobs we've got jobs we've got two kids off school um, so it is a weekend project at the moment for us um, yeah. hopefully in the summer you know if we can work and, and save some money and go right we've got money there to you know go and spend grands on plywood and stuff we will and because we want to get it done and we i want the kids to be safe when they they're walking around the boat at the minute i won't let them outside because you know everything's falling off and it's rotten and there's no handles and stuff so we're trying to do as best we can there's no holes in the hull someone commented before can you when are you going to fix the holes in the hull there's no holes in the hull you know there's no hole there there is well, we'd know about it because yeah. the only water we're getting in our bilge soft lad taster it's not salty it is now it is today because we've just <laughs> <laughs> we cleaned off all the bar it's not salty it is fresh water so that is why we're prioritizing because we know fresh water isn't good for a boat yeah. so that's why we're prioritizing to get it watertight as best we can without ripping everything up and replacing it straight away because we haven't got the time and we haven't got the money to do just, that at the moment. Just to make it operational as well, we have got a load of Victron stuff on the way. So so Electrics. that's gonna be that's gonna be yeah. one of our first jobs is to get a stable power supply. Because cause... we need tool power for tools and we went oh. over this last time. So that we thought it'd be by now wouldn't it, but it's a bit longer, so probably hopefully this the week blaming Brexit. Blame Brexit. So what we are waiting for that. We've ordered a bank of batteries, we've ordered solar, we've yeah. ordered inverter chargers. So it is coming. Yeah. And like yeah. soon. <laughs> and literally that cost us like three grand. Yeah. You know, so we're not scrimping on anything. We're not yeah. scrimping. We're so right. everything will take a little bit longer to do because we're trying to save up to be able to afford the best stuff we can. You know, I could we could have bodge job the electrics for you know a couple of hundred quid or whatever, but we didn't want to do that. We want to make sure it's safe. So we're investing as much time as we can into this. We're investing as much money as we have got into this without the kids spare going on. Time <laughs> and headspace is on the boat. Yeah. It? So if it's not a message, if it's not this, it's something to do with that or look at this. You're like, yeah, it's yeah, it's just like that's all we think about at the moment. It's just like yeah. works a bit like. <laughs> we need to concentrate a bit more just on it. Push through work, <laughs> so, just so we can play with the boat. You know, like. So we're getting there, aren't we, kids? Yeah. And 
after being here today and the weather being so lovely, I just can't wait for the summer. I can't. I, can't. I, I was be, warming up today. It was roasted. I was good working. I, well I had me thermal. Me, I've got my thermals on under these because I was like, I'm usually cold and shivering. And it got to the point, I was like, why didn't I put a t shirt on? So anyway, enough rambling, someone joining. We haven't, it's like seven o'clock, we've had no tea. We're gonna go and have some tea. I've had a dinner, I've had no dinner. Have some crisps. <laughs> Two packets of crisps each, haven't we? Yeah, yeah. So thank you very much. Bye, guys. Bye, this is the end of the video now. End of the video, what do you have to say? Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Like, <laughs> like and subscribe, I'd press the notifications. <laughs> <laughs> okay, edit that one out. Bye. If you see what we can see, then adventure it's for all of us. There's a place that we should be. Come along, come along, cause it's high time we can lose. Come and draft away. Now the chore on board I'll let the love we share Take hold of you As we move a little more Come along Come along Cause it's high tide And we can't lose Come and draft away With us Come and draft You dream.